Hello everyone, my name is Benst and I tweak computers. And today I am going to be showing you a very simple but also very beneficial performance guide for your NVIDIA inspector and your NVIDIA control panel. So what you want to do is join the link in my description, which is just my Discord server, and open this folder. You can download this in the free tweak section. Double click and then open NVIDIA profile inspector.exe. And then here we can go over some very important settings that you cannot see normally. So what we want to do is go top to bottom. So frame rate limiter for background applications, you can put that to 60 FPS. All of these should be off. Maximum pre-rendered frames is one. Preferred refresh rate, preferred refresh rate highest available. And then all of this off. Next, an anti-aliasing. You want it off if you want just performance. It'll make your game look a little worse, but it will give you a lot more performance. In my opinion, it is worth it. Next, we can go into texture filtering. So all these optimizations can be turned off. The filtering mode itself can be off and off linear. Filtering mode and setting can actually be turned to off as well. Prevent anisotropic filtering on all of this. This can be, this is more preference. It'll give you a little, little more FPS at the cost of making your game look a lot worse. So you can experiment with the LOD biases. Next for negative LOD bias clamp, then high performance, no substitution and on. Next for a common, we can go to ambient occlusion. We want all of this off. We want Ansel off. Force P2 state can actually be turned off. OGL off, single display performance mode, off for, for maximum performance. Ray tracing can be turned off. Our bar can actually be turned on even if you don't have a resizable bar GPU. It, for some reason, will still benefit you. And you could copy these settings. If you have a very weak processor, or rather if you just have a very bad setup, threaded optimization will help you on, but if you have a at least mid-range setup, you can just turn it off. Now for the rest, we don't really need to do much more. Now we can scroll all the way down into other until we see the settings. So we want to put Ansel, we've predefined Ansel usage, we want to put that to disallowed. And then we can go into memory allocation policy, put that to moderate pre-allocation. Now, if you can't see these settings, all you want to do is press this little show hidden settings and it'll show you a bunch more. So what you want to do is apply changes, close out of this, close out of this, and then open your NVIDIA control panel. So from here, go into adjust image settings with preview. Make sure it's on use the advanced, advanced 3D image settings. Now go to adjust desktop size and position, put this new no scaling, press apply. And then make sure your resolution is all good. Make sure your refresh rate is all the way up. You can go into PhysX, configure surround and PhysX. You can just change that to your GPU. And from there, you can just make sure everything applied properly in your 3D image settings. Here are my image settings, or rather my 3D settings. And a secret tweak that I have never really seen anyone talk about. You can go into program settings and go to your Windows Explorer. This would be, where would this be? In Windows, and you could find it right here. It would be your root drive, so C, Windows, and then explorer.exe. What you want to do is add that and then in power management mode, you want to prefer maximum performance and apply. And you can close out of this, restart your computer, and you should have a lot more performance for a very simple tweak. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you guys later.